Hey everyone, this is Craymon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege video. So the battle will be starting in about a minute or so, I believe. And let's just check what runes we do have over here. I'll sell that one because it's actually pretty low on the speed roll. But this one might actually be decent. <laughs> Hopefully we get 3 times into the speed. i uh, highly doubting that, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, 7% into the HP. Pretty good. Double speed roll will be very nice right here. Ah, okay, we'll just sell that rune away. <laughs> ah, really unfortunate. We do not need that. The battle just started right here. Just in time. Let's just head over to the siege battle page. And we are up against this guild called... I believe they're called Birdman and Avenger X. So it's been quite some time since we fought Birdman and also Avenger X. Let's just check the rankings real quick over here. Oh, Birdman is actually rank 6. Wow, 3 wins. Very nice. And Avengers is at rank 8. 2 wins and 1 second place right there. We'll check out the defenses that both sides are running as usual. So on Birdman's side is the Kumon Vigor Iris. Oh, three variants of defenses on their net force. So there's the Skogul, there's the Chichil. So two Skogul's, very interesting. Tower 11, LD Tower. Wow, Fermion, Laura, the Zera 2 earlier, another Zera 2 Calm, Miing, Perna, and Praha. <laughs> that one is very interesting. And a Tianlang defense. For their tower 10. Oh, another LD tower. A lot of LDs right here. This one is really interesting. Light monkey. And the win rate is actually pretty decent as well. <laughs> I'm not too sure though. I'm pretty sure you could Josephine Verat Edabel.com. But yeah, we'll try to test it out if we have the chance later. And on Avenger X side is the Kumon Vigor Iris. Yeah, all five of them. I know they have about two towers of it. For Tower 9 here, Kumon Clara Savannas. And the Tower 10 as well, I believe. Yep, there we go. They are opting for the Savannas with the Kumons. And woo, this one is actually really flashy. Nepotist Gianna Savannah. Pay to win. <laughs> we'll be able to use our first sword of the day against Avenger X here. And it's the Kumon Clara Savannah. So this time I'm bringing in my Jean, Skogul, and Leo. I'm actually opting for Skogul more than the Diana right now. It's mainly because Skogul has higher defense in the sense that whenever I throw my rock up, I get double defense, right? Based on the passive. And yeah, everything is really high resistance right here. Because with Diana, even though with the resistance leader, I'm still around the 70-ish percentage region which still gets armor broken fairly easily by that Clara and the Kumun might actually potentially kill off my Diana right there with a couple of procs so this one is actually pretty safe we'll throw up the rock again we'll place the invincibility on our Skogul there you go we are reducing the cooldown as well every time they hit my Skogul that's very nice <laughs> We resisted everything, and this Clara should die. Yep, we'll throw the rock up again. Continue with the provokes. And this should kill off the Clara, so 2v3 right now. Whenever our Skogul gets to move, the rock will deal so much damage as you can see right there. <laughs> and it'll be our first win of the day. This Tower 11 will be opening up right here, and it's another common Clara Savannah. So this time I'm bringing in my Fing and Perna and Emilia. So as long as my Emilia doesn't get stunned up, we should be really fine. And you could also use this offense against the Common Vigor and Etna, I believe. And it's also really safe. So we just cleanse away the armor bricks there. Mm, I think we'll get some heal rolling. Put a calm mine. Ah, my Perna is too low, so the Kumon actually targeted him. Didn't land the armor break on the counter as well, that's very unfortunate. Hmm. Can this kill? 
Okay, the counter kills the Clara off. And now we just have to work on the Kumun and we should be good because none of them will be hitting my Perna already. Yeah? Can we stun? Okay. Additional turn by that Kumun. We have to place the heals again because our Emilia is actually dying right there. That's very nice, we landed the armor break right now. So this nuke should do it. 35,000. And 1v3 against this Savannah, there shouldn't be any way for her to win. So just a normal attack should dismount her from our Perna. Just change back to the Pony, just to heal with the passive. Okay, we should be good. Additional turn though. Hmm. Once our Perna moves, we should win. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I have to tap this Tower 4 right here, and let's just see what defenses that they run. <laughs> you already know what's coming. So whenever I see this kind of comp, I'm just gonna bring in my Malaka, Sien, and Huadam. This comp is kind of similar to the Galen, Clara, and Miho, whereby if you do not get stunned up by the Clara, that's very nice. We passed the first stage of winning. And now all we have to do is land our bombs. Perfect tree right there. Can our Sien move? Beautiful. So we got all the bombs on all of the units right there. Galen gets the additional turn into the suicide, killing himself off with the bombs. And everything should die fairly easily from here on out. There you go. Perfect. We have to take this tower 12 right here, it's the Kumun, Vigor and Iris. I'm gonna bring in my Galen, Julie and Harmonia, the shield will calm. They'll be going for the first turn, after that once we move, hopefully we land all our armor breaks into the Julie's third skill and hopefully we can kill everything right there. Mm, yeah, we'll just normal attack the Kumun right there, that's a nice sleep. We failed to land armor break on the Kumun. Additional turn by that Bigor as well. And we can't even kill off the Iris. Ah. <laughs> ah man, this is sad. Double stuns on my units as well. Oof. Yeah, we'll crit this one. We got the bounce back from the loss earlier and I'm seeing this Kumon, Vigor and Edna. I'm just gonna mirror it because hopefully they get the first turn and after that, I'll be able to use the Shatter into a Violent Proc. Ah, shit! We move first. <laughs> so at least we got the stun onto the Atna right there. We didn't land the Armor Break again. Oh my god. Can this Soul Devour kill? Very nice. That's a pretty squishy Atna right there. We'll just try to work on the Kumun first. I'll strip the Vigor. Oh shit, I think we have to change our targets to the Vigor, we try to kill him off first and after that we'll be able to slowly work on that Kumun. Can we get a proc? Mm, yeah, we'll heal up. Come on, no proc again. <laughs> okay, never mind, 14,000 normal attack and that Vigor goes down. Now we'll be able to land the armor break because of elemental advantage. And this crit should kill. Ooh, last hit. Uh, yeah, this shred should do it because this is my crit damage Vigor. And this will be another win. We need to take down this tower 12 to get the bonus and it's the Martina, Shina and Triana on Birdman's side. I believe I'm just gonna take the risk with our Susano, Mina and Kona. Hopefully they are not tanky or fast. Okay, we move first. Hmm, very, very squishy Shina. So we'll just use the second skill onto that Martina right there and this chain attack should kill off that Shina and we should be good. Hmm. No damage as well. So I'm not too sure what kind of runes they're running on their twins. But yeah, we should see this one true. Uh, we'll just boost up Mina here because all our monsters are still on full HP in that sense. We didn't get the crit. Nice stun. Okay. Beautiful, <laughs> very clean. The situation isn't looking too good on our side because Birdman is on a 17 tower bonus. So we have to take some of their towers right now. We'll be heading into this Kumun Orion Etna with our Fingyan, Vigor, and Rakan. 
Hmm. We'll take the risk. If it lands the armor break. Oh, lands the armor break on my Rakan. That's actually very nice. Okay. We'll try to armor break this Kumon right there. We got it. Additional turn. <laughs> and this collapse should kill. Yeah. 35,000, definitely. And now 2v3. Fly, fly. Ooh, that double counter from my Ping and Rakan. <laughs> And we'll just heal up for the speed buff. If anything, my Vigor dies, we should still win this one because I don't see Edna winning my Rakan 1v1 at the end of the day. And yeah, Vigor. Ooh. Hopefully, our Vigor gets to heal up next turn. We get the armor break right there. We'll just heal up for the speed buff. And can we land the 3 turns armor break? Didn't get it, but this should do it. Ah, sorry guys, I forgot to record one fight earlier because I had to go into it pretty fast and this will be our last two swords. We'll just try to fight this Bastet, Odin and Rauk. So this is very interesting, we do not see Rauk with the Bastet and Odin. It's usually the Sierra, Iris and Rauk, right? So I think my Anovel Raki should be able to win this one. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Um, can we... I think we heal up first. We have to land the armor break. Very good, we got it on Odin, so I feel like deleting him off first. Because at the end of the day, I think my Annabelle can win that round, right? Unless he go like Super Saiyan mode into his normal attacks props. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Hmm. Annabelle, can we cleanse? Very good. We'll shatter right here for the attack bar. Huh, we didn't really get crits there. Oh my god, please don't prop. <laughs> okay, we'll cleanse away that armor break. When our Rocky moves, we should be able to clean up that route. And 3v1 against this Bastet. All good. We'll be able to finish off this Bastet right here. 12k. Ah shit, we didn't crit. <laughs> Okay, just normal attack. Hmm, still alive, alright. We'll be able to use our final sword for this siege against the Kumon, Vigor, and Iris from Avenger X side. And this time, I'm just gonna bring in my Kumon, Lauren, and Beta. So, you've seen me use this comp a lot of times. As long as I kill off the opponent's Kumon first, as soon as possible, we should win. If we drag out too long, they get the additional procs and whatnot, the stuns, we might lose. Very good, very good. We got the additional prop from the Kumon. And now 2v3, I think we are safe. We'll place the immunity up again and we'll continue working on the Iris here. Yeah, can we push back? Very nice. Hmm. No armor break though. So we'll just save our second skill first. We push back Vigor. Hmm. Yeah, we'll boost up the Kumon. One crit. 20,000 only. <laughs> okay, never mind. We got the heal block onto the Iris, so she's not gonna heal anytime soon, right there. And 3v1, we ended up 9 wins, 1 loss. So, again, a very consistent uh, win rate. Hopefully, we can keep on going like this throughout the whole season. The siege battle just ended right here and we got 318 crystals followed by 299 guild points. Let's just collect those and we'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So let's just see here. Hmm. There's like some delay going on. Okay. So Birdman actually got second place followed by Avenger X at third. And we'll be going to open up the rubbish box. Hopefully we get something good this time. And I think I'm just gonna pick the top left again. I'm honestly doubting that box already. <laughs> ah, still no shiny. 50 crystals though, okay, we'll take that. Not too bad. At least you're seeing the crystals. <laughs> and this will be the end of the video guys. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video as well and turn on the notifications. We will be doing a mass summon for our guild goats on 
this Saturday and most likely I'll be posting the video out on Monday or Tuesday itself because there's a lot of things for me to do over the weekend and please make sure to stay safe. I'll catch you guys really soon and yeah, have a great weekend everyone.